From Hollywood, it's time now for... Johnny Dollar. Ah! To me hard to be hearing the voice of me lover boy. Meg McCarthy. Stephen, how could you tell from so far away and so long ago to answer me that? Oh, Meg, I'd recognize that soft, dulcet voice of yours anywhere. How are you? Oh, Johnny boy, I've got trouble. And where are you, by the way? Port Hopeful is the name of the place. Port Hopeful, huh? You just can't stay away from the sea and ships and sailing men, can you? And whose leg would you be after trying to pull now? <laughs> Port Hopeful, Nevada. Nevada? Right out in the middle of the desert. Well, what are you doing there? And why do they call it a port? There were the very same identical things I'll be telling you when you get here. And if you take to my advice, you won't waste no time along the way. There's trouble out here. Insurance troubles. Oh, what company? Western Life and Trust, they call it. The very same identical company that's insured the life of this blessed man what's laying dead at my feet. Dead at your feet? Meg, you... you don't mean... Just a minute. If you're by way of implication that I done him in, you're just an evil-minded, suspicious young... Oh, forgive me, sweetheart boy. Huh? Well, you was worried about me, wasn't you? Well, certainly, of course, God but... love you, but me skirts are clean. Now, will you get moving and come out here? Well, it kind of depends. Oh? Right? And just what kind of fancy double-talking is that supposed to... Oh, no, you... Don't what? Get your dirty, filthy, conniving hands off. Meg, what's the matter? Take them braces out of here and you... Meg! Well, I... I guess I was wrong, Johnny. I guess I am in trouble. Now. I'll grab the first plane. <laughs> in the exciting adventures of the man with the action-packed expense account, America's fabulous freelance insurance investigator... Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. And now, act one of Yours Truly, Johnny Dollar. Expense account submitted by Special Investigator Johnny Dollar to Western Life and Trust Insurance Company, San Francisco office. Following is an account of expenses incurred during my investigation of the Alkali Mike matter. Expense account item 1375, telephone call to Bill Kemper at Western Life and Trust, who talked only long enough to order me onto the first plane for the coast. Item 2, 15350, transportation on a late evening flight to San Francisco. Item three the next morning, 425, cab from the airport to Bill Kemper's office in the Lawson building. Ever hear of Alkali Mike Murphy, Johnny? Yeah, sure, Bill. Well, at least I think so. Isn't he the kind of legendary character who found so much gold somewhere out here? Over in the Black Rock Desert, Nevada. Yeah, a place called Port Hopeful? That's right. The original Alkali Mike had been the skipper of a sailing ship before he got the lust for gold back in the last century. Yeah, well, what about him? Finally found it. Plenty of it. Out there in the desert, near the little town of Winnemucca. And? Built himself a regular palace out of rocks from the nearby mountains. Named it Port Hopeful. Settled down to spend the rest of his days enjoying his money. But then he died. Legend says it was suicide. Yeah, well, what's that got to do with you or me or the company? Alkali Mike Murphy, Jr., his son, who spent the last 40 years living there. But now he suddenly died. And how he died affects payoff on the insurance policy we're writing. Oh, how much? 200000 straight life. Ah, we oui. Beneficiaries? Two nephews, one niece, and an old housekeeper, all sharing equally, provided, of course, that one of them didn't help him on his way to the great beyond. And you think maybe one of them did? 50000 apiece is a lot of money, Johnny. Which one? I'll grant you it's only a hunch. But if I were you, I'd make a pretty careful check on that housekeeper. Meg McCarthy? She's an old... Yes, what do you know about this McCarthy woman? Oh, plenty, Bill. Then you think my hunch is right? No. Why? Because if it is, I'll handle this case for nothing. But according to the police officer... What's more, I'll quit the insurance business. Item 4, 1320, cab to the airport, plane fare and incidentals to Reno, Nevada. There I rented a car, that's item 5, and headed north and east on Route 40. After about 165 miles of nothing but sagebrush and cactus, I pulled into the town of Winnemucca. 
I dropped off my bags at the motel, Winnemucca, then headed for the local police headquarters. I was introduced to a Sergeant Otis Framley. There's no point in driving out to Fort Hopeful, Mr. Dollar. We've got the number one suspect right here. Picked her up last night. Her? Meg McCarthy? Right. And you suspect her of what? Murder. If she didn't poison old alkali Mike, I'll eat my shirt. Then you'd better decide right now if you want it baked, boiled, or fried. Where is she? In her cell. Come on. You mean you've got some reason for thinking she didn't do it? I know, Meg McCarthy. Yeah, but don't you see she's the only one who's anywhere near him? Besides, look at the motive. Yeah, suppose you tell me about it. Well, she's only been out there at Hopeful taking care of him about six months. Yet she gets under the skin of the old codger enough to make him turn over a big hunk of his insurance money. And that takes care of motive, huh? Well, doesn't it? Let's go talk to Maggie. Now look, she's a pretty tough customer when she yeah, wants to be, so... Right. Yeah. she's a pretty tough customer. And if you silly, stupid income poop starts... Like All right, Meg, take it easy. Oh, take it easy, is it? If you blink an idiom, think you can keep a decent self-respected lady... I said take it place. easy. And I say, and I... Oh, Johnny darling, me ever-loving <laughs> boy. Hi, Meg, oh, you old rascal. Sweetheart, I know you'd come to save me out of this horrible place. Yeah, well, that pretty much depends on you, on what you're able to tell me about this whole thing. You bet I'll tell you. Only... Only, Johnny. What's the matter? Sure, I'll tell you. All I know. And it'll be the honest truth, Johnny boy. But don't you see? The only evidence I can give is enough to hang me. Meg. Oh, Johnny, I need your help. I need it back. Act two of yours truly, Johnny Dollar, in a moment. And now, act two of yours truly, Johnny Dollar and the Alkali Mike Matter. The sergeant left Meg McCarthy and me alone there at the jail in Winnemucca, Nevada. And she told me all she knew. Johnny had just plain got fed up with all the noisy, roistering, drunken sailors that used to come to me fancy cafe back on the East Coast. So when I heard that Alkali Mike Murphy was looking for a nice, quiet, respectable lady to be his housekeeper, out here in the peaceful, quiet desert where I took the job. You've been out here about six months? Yes, Johnny boy. And me and Alkali, we just got along fine. I cooked good meals for him, and we played cribbage together in the evenings. And I got me a real bang out of keeping that old palace of his all neat and tidy for him. Yeah, sure. But now, Meg, I understand he named you as a beneficiary of his big insurance policy. I told him I didn't want it. And besides, I have plenty of money of my own from selling out my cafe back east. Do you know the other beneficiaries? Huh? Do I know them? Them nephews and that niece. Just hanging around waiting for him to die these last 20 years. That's all they've been doing. Except maybe Edgar. Edgar? Edgar Murphy, the oldest nephew, the nice one. He's had a fine job over to the bank in Lovelock. Uh-huh. And the others? Margaret. Oh, she's a disgrace to me fine old name. Playing around with every Tom, Dick, and Henry she can get her hands on. Looking for the one with the most money so she can snag him and live the easy life. Where is she? It's for Danny. Well, he's another no count. Spends all his time horsing around and gambling. Where are they now? Out to Port Hope, but where else? Each of them trying to chisel the others out of all the fine furniture and old silverware and lovely china. You know, when the estate gets settled, the sneaky, snivel. All right, little... Meg, all right. If I'm going to try to help you, there are some things I have to know. I'll tell you everything, Johnny boy. <sighs> How did Alkali Mike die? Poison, the doctor said it was. In something that he ate. And who could have given it to him? Uh, there's the trouble, darling. Huh? I was the only one with him. I was the only one ever touched his food. Could it have been poisoned before it was brought into the house? No, never. Everything I bought for him and me come from the markets right here in Winnemucca. Besides, Johnny, I always had the same things he did. Even the day he died? Yes. Even that same fateful morning. Well, did the doctor say what the poison was? Yes. Uh, Could it be... Tenny. Quintanagen? Yes, that was it, sulfur or something. Quintanagen sulfonate? Yes, it's quintanagen sulfonate. Now, that's strange. 
Because if I remember correctly, that's related to one of the old Indian arrow poisons. Ah, uh-huh, but Johnny, there ain't been no Indians around here for years. At least the wild ones. Look, Meg, I want to go out to that so-called palace, Fort Hopeful, but I want you with me. Well, of course, lover. Only how can I get out of this jail? Well, let me worry about that. <laughs> It took the help of a local attorney that sent him five hundred bucks. But I managed to get Meg out of the clink. As long as Sergeant Framley stayed with us, that is. We headed out across the desert over a road that should have been traveled only by Jeep. And finally, after about sixty miles of it, we came into a bare rocky valley. And there in the middle of it sat the palace, Port Hopeful. Only it should have been called Port Hopeless. Ain't it a beautiful spot, Johnny Boy? It was an atrocity, a huge rambling jumble of native stone badly cemented together. There were almost as many doors sagging on their hinges as there were windows. As though the whole place had been put together one room at a time. Windows were set in at cockeyed angles and most of them were dirty. Three fairly new cars were parked out in front. Yeah, the relatives, Dollar. They've been here ever since the old coot died like a bunch of buzzards. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, come on, let's go in. Yes, and see how they've messed up our lovely palace whilst I've been languishing myself away in that hoot car. Hey, look, Sergeant, if old Alkali was murdered... Of course he was. How else would he get that poison? Well, how about these relatives? That's what I've been trying to tell these hare brains. All right, all right, Meg, please. These bird-tailed idioms around here seem to think I'm the only one... Meg, I... shut up. Yes. Dear, you know I love you when you talk to me like that. Just like my dear departed husband, God. Yes, yes, all right. Well, what about it, Sergeant? Oh, you mean his own kin? No, oh, no, Mr. Dollar. People out here in this part of the country have too much respect for their own kin. Even when there's a lot of money involved? Yes, I even go so far as... What do you as mean, to... Sergeant, bringing that killer back here? Well, it's, uh, it's this way, Edgar. Yes, Sergeant, how dare you? Now, look, it's all perfectly legal. Legal? This woman killed our uncle. Now, look, will you? Mr. Dollar here is an insurance investigator. Johnny Dollar? That's right. Oh, I've heard about you. Well, I haven't. I'm Margie. And believe me, Edgar, everything will be all right with him here. Won't it, Johnny? Will it? I'm sure it will. Uh, We'll see. Uh... You want to come in? What do you mean, do we want to come in? You think we're going to stand out here on our feet all day? Why don't you drop dead? Oh, bladder scum. All right, Meg, come on, come on. Sit down, Johnny. Here. Uh, Incidentally, where's the other nephew? Uh, Danny? I'm Danny Murphy, Dollar, and I agree with Ed. You've got no business bringing that old witch that murdered our uncle back into this house. Oh, that's all? She had no business ever being here. Chiseled her way into his affection so she could cut in on whatever dough he'd leave. And then to make sure he'd leave it in a hurry, she knocked him off. Uh Uh-huh. Wouldn't that same reason make all three of you want to see him out of the way? Now, just a minute. just take it easy, Danny. What do you mean, take it easy? He's practically accusing us of killing Alkali. If the shoe fits, Danny boy. Why, you dirty... You lay one hand on Johnny Dollar and I'll tear your eyes out from limb to limb. Okay, Meg. Meg! Yes, darling. Mr. Dollar's right, Danny, Margie, and you know it. You know it as well as I do. Sure, we wanted him gone. We wanted his money, that insurance. If Danny here hadn't talked him into that insurance, we wouldn't even have that to look forward to. Well, can you blame us, Johnny, for not wanting her to share it? But she will, unless you can prove she killed your uncle. What's she ever done, knowing him for only a few months? To make her deserve a share. Margie, I suspect Meg is the only one who showed your uncle any kind of care and consideration in years. Well, what did you expect of us? Mr. Dollar's right. Why kid about it? Heaven knows she deserves his money as much as any of us, whether we like it or not. The fact remains, Dollar, somebody killed our uncle. And you've all carefully made sure that Meg would be suspect. Well, yes. Johnny. Look, I'm going to play a hunch that maybe he wasn't murdered at all. But the evidence, Dollar... What evidence, Sergeant? He was poisoned. Yeah, all right. We'll accept that. But I'm still going to play that hunch. Act three of yours truly, Johnny Dollar, in a moment. Act three of yours truly, Johnny Dollar, and the Alkali Mike Matters. Now, look here, Dollar. We know that old Alkali Mike was poisoned. If that isn't murder, what is it? Have you ever thought of suicide, Sergeant? 
suicide. Oh, of course not. This money-grabbing old biddy here did him in. Now, just a minute, Margie Murphy. Well, sure. Why would old Alkali ever commit suicide? I don't know, Danny. Disappointment over you three, his only relative. He paid no attention to us. Or was it the other way around? You paid no attention to him. He didn't want us around. Except maybe Edgar. <sighs> well, offhand, I can't say that I blame him. But he did welcome the care and whatever affection Meg may have given him. Yes, Mr. Dollar, that's true. She was after his money, that's all. I told him I didn't want his money. And if you don't shut up, you little squirming and conniving... Meg! <laughs> all right, Johnny Boy. What are you looking so thoughtful about, Edgar? Suicide. Old Alkali's father chose to go that way. Yeah, I know. No one understood why. He had everything he wanted, money, even this so-called palace, this atrocity that he named Port Hopeful. You mean he had no more reason to take his life than your uncle? Well, that's what I mean, Sergeant. How did his father take his life? By drinking poison, an old Indian poison. Quintanogen sulfonate. Oh, oh yes. no. Oh, the cup. What? The old cup that his father used. What are you talking about, Meg? Come here, all of you. Come here in the dining room. What for, Meg? In here, where he keeps all the old silver and china and brickety brack. Here. Now look here in the china closet. There, you see. That cup or mug on the top shelf, Dollar. Is that the one his father used to drink the poison? Yes. But it's never been used since. Oh, no. No, Mr. Edgar, that's where you're wrong. What? Oh, saints, preserve us. This is terrible. What is it, Meg? Get oh, to the point. Oh, yes, Johnny, but it scares me. Well? Every night after his dinner, Alkali, God rest his poor soul, he'd have his whiskey from one of the clay mugs on that shelf, a different mug every night. Yes, that's Except true. Except that never would he touch that one. The lavender one. Oh, so what? Called it the death cup. Only he joked about it. But then the night before he died, he... He talked about it again. Let me see that mug. Well, I'll get it for you. He said it was making a superstitious old fool out of him. Uh, here. He said his father drank from it and died. But that he would drink from it and live. That he'd show he weren't superstitious about it. Oh. Good heavens, look, look here. And I poured the drink for him. What is it, Dollar? Yeah, what, what is, is it? it? The heavy deposit in the bottom of this mug. Hard as a rock. But still the poison? Yeah. Same deep purple color of quintanogen sulfonate. Oh. After 40 years? Oh, I tried to wash it out, Johnny, before and after she used it. Oh, water wouldn't touch that. Stuff. Oh, that's why I thought it was part of the clay. But the alcohol in this whiskey would. Oh. It released enough of that poison to kill him. Oh, if only I'd have known. <laughs> took a long time over this one, but they finally reached the same conclusion I had. Accidental death. So, the relatives will collect the insurance and Meg, bless her heart. But I'm afraid that mere money will never take the place of a friend, Alkali Mike. Expense account total, including incidentals and fare back to Hartford, $525 even. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Johnny Dollar.